60 years ago, our founder, Sir Peter Scott, saw the first Buick Swans arrive here on the Rushy Pen at Slimbridge. Being the artist he was with an eye for critical detail, he was the first person to realise each individual Buick Swan could be uniquely identified by their yellow and black bill patterns, much like our own individual fingerprint. Over the duration of the 60 years of the Buick Swan Bill Pattern Project, we've seen dynasties, drama, divorce and even death. Not only are we able to identify each individual Buick Swan here, we're able to get incredibly close to these swans. To be able to get this close to wild Buick Swans is pretty unique and this has helped to aid our observations over the years. During those 60 years, and 10,000 swan names later, we've been rewarded with a far better knowledge not only of the individuals that visit us here at Slimbridge, but the population as a whole. So what can we learn by following individuals? Well, over time we've got to learn about their site faithfulness, that is, how often they're coming back every winter. We also get to learn about their survival, so how old they're growing to, and crucially, whether that's changing over time. By counting the number of signets each pair are bringing back, we get to look at their breeding performance and recruitment back into the breeding population. All these are important factors to take into account when you're conserving a species like the Buick Swan. For more information, visit www.org.uk slash Slimbridge for all the latest and comings and goings on the Buick Swan blog.